welcome to episode of two of starting book series that I want to be in the middle of. So I, when planning this video, originally had slightly different books than what I'm setting out to read in this video. So, and I've done this based off the fact that I just wanted to read like a specific romance and I was like, which one am I going to switch that out for? And then I was like, hmm. And then I was kind of thinking, well, one of my original books, I'm like, is this a little bit too close to um, like my first book? Um, so I changed it again. So we have three different genres. We have a fantasy, we have a crime thriller, uh, and a romance. So the fantasy is A Court of Thorns and Roses by Sarah J Maas. It's about time that I get into the series. Everyone and their mum and grandma and dog loves this series. Um, so it's about time I get started. I do own all five books so far in the series. I do know that there's going to be more books. But yeah, it's about time. And also it is on my monthly TBR. So what can I say? Then the next book is The Thursday Murder Club by Richard Osman. I want to get into this series. I own all four, um, and my mum has already started reading it, so it's about time that I get into it. Oh, and it's quite a big text as well. Like, that's where it's done. That, to me, is big text. So, you know, it might be a quick read. And then the romance book is Icebreaker by Hannah Grace. This is based on the fact that I desperately want to read Daydream. Um, I think it would be like the perfect book like for me like I think it would just be right up my street um as the saying goes um but I'm not going to read the series out of order so we're going to start with book one that's the three books that I provisionally started like plan to do for this video there might be a fourth book there might not it all depends on how quickly I read all of these um now what book I'm gonna start some reading tonight but I've had like two basically three days off of reading well no I had Monday Tuesday where I didn't read at all because I finished my seven books in seven days like video and cut down my currently reading like massively and then this morning I did read and finish a book called Welcome to the Cornish Country Hospital. Um, I really enjoyed that. That was four stars for me. I do want to continue on with the series, but we've kind of now got the currently reading, I think it's down to 19, I want to say. Okay, so apparently it's actually 18, um, but I do have three really long books. So I have To Sleep in a Sea of Stars, Daisy Gates, and House of Earth and Blood that are on that list. And then there is one that I'm like 50% of the way through um, and would take me about 3 hours and 15 according to Kindle to finish. If I finish any more books during this video I will tell you guys because it's just easier. But it's deciding which book to start with because it's late at night. I'm only going to read for like half an hour or so. So it's like what book do I think I won't be wanting to like read until 2am like. That's my thoughts. Mm. I'm kind of between these two. I don't, although this, I was starting this video tonight because I want to get into this book. I'm kind of like, is this too much to start so late at night? Um, I think I'm going to start Icebreaker. Just because I think I could quite easily read like 30 pages or whatnot and put it down. What would 30 pages? So if I was to read 30 pages, that would be three chapters, which I could do. So yeah, but I will keep you updated. Okay, so it's now like two days later. Um, I, well, kind of like a day and a bit because I filmed that, that, that first clip at like 10 o'clock at night. Um, I'm currently a hundred I've currently read 118 pages so I've read 13 chapters 
I'm really liking this so far. Um, it's not giving me like five star feelings. It's currently sitting at like a good four and a half. I know that the spice is gonna like pick up um, and then it could drop down to like a four, but I don't see this being lower than a four. I really enjoy this. I wish I'd kind of got picked it up sooner, but so far it's nice. And like, I'm like right from the start, I liked the writing style. Like I just, the way it picked up. Also, I think I love how I haven't got um like this, a cover with like a different like the background at the top is different with like an actual skating background mine's just plain with the skate marks on um yeah i but like immediately from the opening line let me read it to you um just so you get an idea if you've not read it the book it says again anastasia if i hear the words Again, and Anastasia together in a sentence one more time, it might be the thing that finally tips me over the edge. And then it goes on to say, I've been on the edge since I woke up this morning with the hangover sign directly from the pits of hell, so the last thing I need right now is more grief from Coach Aubrey Brady. Um, immediately that was just like, I liked the writing style. And the things is, if I don't end up liking the spice, I'm still going to continue and read Wildfire and Daydream, especially because... I've now realised like Daydream is the one where the spice is definitely different like it's a little bit more kind of like tame and I think I don't mind spice as long as it doesn't get crude which I think in hindsight is what made me drop down the rating of Heartless by Elsie Silver because some of it just got a bit crude but I'm really liking this so far we've got to the point of like there's already been some kind of sexual stuff happen like already and we're on, I'm only a quarter of the way through the book but currently it's still like manageable for me like I'm not like it's still spice but it's not like full-blown like sex so far yet but at this point we've they're on the ice they're working together and there's now like a he's just helped take care of her um in a certain situation and yeah, I do like how there is, every now and again, there's just the odd chapter where there's, like, like extracts of, like, text messages. So, like, up here is where it's, like, text message exchanges. And I do really like that. Like, it's different. And, obviously, it does help the book go, like, quicker as well. I probably will pick this up more um, today. I'm just, I don't know had a weird start to the morning um and I think it's just throw me off a little um but I do need to edit a video first so I think I'd better do that um just I'd better get the editing done however I'm gonna do a little taste test of some drinks that I found so I'm well I'm only gonna have one because there's a high level of caffeine but I'm gonna show you what I bought so I found a celsius um in it was in tesco I've got in the fruit burst flavour. I'm not going to have this today. It's like currently midday, like almost one o'clock. And this is two milligrams, 200 milligrams of caffeine in for this 355 milligram. So yeah, I'm not having that today. I don't know how much the these next drinks have, but I have the Cherry Slash Alani New and the Breezeberry one as well. I think the Breezeberry might be more like a blue raspberry type one. Um, how much caffeine do these have in? So these have a, this one has 140. Yes, they have 140 in. Although they are, they're only slightly less. I think I might try the cherry slush one. I know that Des really likes it. Um, now I will say I'm not like a big cherry person, but I do like cherry in certain things. Oh, that is nice. That is nice. That is nice. I can see why she likes it. I can very much see why she likes it. No, I forgot to say, I got these from, I got them from the range, but I don't know whether it was part of like the Iceland part of the range because my one has like an Iceland bit in it. I've been to another Iceland recently and I didn't see these, so I don't know. But I wasn't looking for them. To be fair, I wasn't looking in the range for these, but I would say this cherry slush one is nice. And I think because it's not just cherry, it takes that like edge off of it. But yeah, maybe this will be the energy that I need to get me to edit my video 
because it's like my TBR video and it's currently like it's currently it's currently the 13th Friday the 13th of September which probably can be partly blamed on me having a hectic morning I did also buy Wild Eyes by Elsie Silver I know I know I shouldn't and I didn't buy another book this morning no I was good but the thing is, is I'd held off on buying it from the works the other day when I picked up um Daydream I picked up another book as well no I didn't I only paid for Daydream but yeah I resisted on buying other books and then I saw it in Tesco and actually I'm glad I bought it from Tesco because I paid less than what I would have bought, paid in the works because on te at Tesco it was on quote card so I only paid £4.50 which made me feel really good and also I have ordered Yours Truly by Abby Jimenez because I'm desperate for it I managed to get just for the summer from the works for £3 but I'm desperate for Yours Truly because I'm reading them in order of course I am but anyway that is my last update that's where I am at today um I'm not gonna get back under my duvet because it is exactly 18 degrees in this house exactly <clears throat> and obviously the heating's not going on yet like it's the 13th of September the heating can't go on yet I know it's bad but honestly I don't actually have anywhere else to sit in my room properly so let's get back into the duvet and let's get some editing done because I do want to be in this time that I've not got really anything going on I want to be more consistent with uploading on YouTube like I do have another video filmed like completely filmed as well and I have another one that I've technically shelved <laughs> unintentionally um so I should probably try and start doing some of that back up but I think I'll work on video first before I start working in basically it's my highest and rated lowest highest and lowest rated on goodreads that I technically started back in April um so yeah I'm gonna drink my energy drink because this is an energy drink and I'm gonna get to editing okay so it's now is it Thursday Friday it's now Friday yes it is Friday so today is Friday basically a week since I last talked to you I'm halfway through to be fair I got halfway through on Wednesday and just have not read um but I did read 100 pages or I think it was like just over 90 um of the book so I'm just over halfway through I am enjoying it so far I keep putting off making this update which is why I haven't read more that is literally it um so far there has been some spice although it's not really added much and not really added anything to the story at the same time I don't mind it because it's not crude or anything um like it is just what you'd kind of expect from like your pretty basic spy scene I'm enjoying it I've not been picking it up as much because at night I don't want to read it in case I get engrossed in it because I do need to go to sleep and wake up early in fact I should really have turned my light off before this point but I thought if I film this at least in that way I can kind of read this book in my own time and then just give you the final verdict. I haven't started any of the other books so um, this vlog is taking a long while. It very much is. That's kind of my update. I am enjoying it so far. I do, even if this second half doesn't really grip me as much at the same time, I definitely will be reading book two anyway because I did enjoy the book. I did enjoy her writing style. I did enjoy the fan family aspect. Like I very much enjoyed that and I do want to see more um, and I am hoping that Hannah continues following along with the hockey team so obviously book two is Russ who we've seen briefly um, in like a really nice sweet moment already um, obviously Henry is a big part of this book like he's he's like a big minor character which obviously I know is in book three I do I do want to see JJ I do think his story would be really good. I think, I don't know whether he goes through an arc in books two or three, but if he hasn't, I do think he would be a good book to be based off of. Like, I just think he would be a good book for it to be based on, um, cause he's kind of the other main person that's kind of in the book. So yeah, I definitely want, I kind of, I hope that he does his story. I know that obviously everyone was hoping for Henry's story and I from what I've read so far I can definitely see why like Henry is so sweet and based off of what I've seen of this 
I cannot wait to read Daydream because he's just gonna be so sweet to Hallie. I'm enjoying that so far. Um, when I said I'm just over halfway, I'm currently on page, I've read 236 pages. If, when I pick it up next, I'll start chapter 27. I have to say, I do like the font for like when it says what chapter it is. Like I do like that font. But yeah, I love a good jewel, jewel POB. Like I absolutely love it. And we've kind of got to the point where her, like the whole skating incident and I have to say, I obviously don't like Aaron. Like, who would like Aaron? Oh no, I, I do know who I want to see in terms of like their love story. Robbie. Obviously, he's with, like, we see some of his love story, and obviously, who he is with in this book could just obviously then be Endgame. But if it's not, I would love to see it, even if there was just a novella. Like, give us a little novella. Like, if Robbie ends up with a girl in the book like that's in this book can we give and have a novella if he doesn't can he have his own book literally as simple as that but yeah that's kind of my update that's what i'm thinking so far i think it's probably gonna sit probably around the four star mark i don't see it being like a 4.5 it might do based off of this i do enjoy how sweet nate is being i love how i literally forgot his name then jesus christ um i love how sweet nate has been um how caring he's been like but with everything and like the taking care of her when she's hurting both physically and emotionally and all of that and how he steps up to help her in her time of need so that she doesn't kind of fall back based off of the circumstances going on and yeah enjoying it i think i'm realizing that i like tension and a spicy but i think because it's been a few times in the book already and it were at the halfway mark we were hitting it at the quarter way mark so that kind of obviously sat it off because it's like if we're going in a quarter of the way through obviously it's not a slow burn like i kind of knew i knew going in that there was like spice and that it wasn't like a slow burn um but yeah but i do enjoy like the topics that are being discussed in this and how they are being explored sensitively like especially some of the stuff related to her being like an ice skater and some of the stuff that goes along with that and how Nate makes her realize that she's kind of been putting up with stuff that she shouldn't have done because she didn't realize um and I do like that kind of progression and her kind of realizing actually hang on a sec everything wasn't as rosy and that actually i was putting up with some shit that i shouldn't have done so i do enjoy that i enjoy like the exploration of topics and all of that okay so i've decided to pick up the third day murder club i've literally only read the first chapter so six pages not even that actually and the wording is really confusing and like it doesn't some of it just doesn't make sense so, for example, it says, um, Mary from Ruskin Court, who was at the next table, got his attention and asked how much 46 kilos was when it was at home. Why? What? Like, when, like, was when it was at home? Like, what's the difference? And it says, like, I guess that unattended, she would probably bleed out in about 45 minutes. And then it says, well, quite, Joyce. Or is it be like, well, quite, Joyce? But even then, it just seems confusing. Like, the table... It seems like the way it's written is quite confusing. And doesn't currently make sense. Like, I do overall enjoy, like, the tone that's coming across and all of that. But I just... That wording is quite confusing. Um... And it's hard to imagine because of the fact that I know that this book is going to have been edited. So it's like, why is it coming across that way? I don't know. But yeah, I am going to keep reading, obviously. Um, I did also finish my puzzle. I put the puzzle away, though. Um, but it was the Ravensburger Bits book, Bits and Bobs puzzle, which was so nice. I love... It's... I'm gonna call it like a busy puzzle it's probably not like busy busy but it definitely has got some business to it like I l loved that obviously I'm doing it 
casually. I'm not doing it speed puzzle wise. And so it doesn't really matter that I did it in like two sessions over two separate days. I've been doing some puzzles or doing a puzzle. One time I did do two puzzles in this past like week. A different puzzle before the world championships and then I started doing my Ravensburger one uh, whilst watching the worlds because obviously when you watch puzzling you want to start puzzling for example when you re watch cleaning videos you want to start cleaning when you read reading videos you want to start reading all of that you know um I do have the other puzzle so I might do that I don't know why I'm yawning because it's literally midday. Let's continue reading and I'm hoping that it's going to start making sense. Because I know that as an old person it's sometimes the way they speak can be slightly confusing. Like it can take a moment for you to understand what they're trying to say. But most part it doesn't and like you're fine. But in this situation it's just it's confusing. And so again, I'm hoping it does start to make sense. But I do like how it's starting straight off um, into the thing. And it could just be that the character's like remembering on the past. And so it's not necessarily remembered quite quite correctly. I don't know. Um, it's just a really weird way that it's been worded. But yeah. Okay, so it's a couple of days later and I am ill, like I have a cold, um, but I have read 203 pages of the Thursday Murder Club. I'm really enjoying it so far. The text is big, it's reading really easily, the chapters are short, so it's easy to just do the whole, you know, one more chapter. I think the longest a chapter has been, has been like five, six, maybe seven pages, um, but other than that, it's really quick. Um, and I really am enjoying it. We've kind of got to the point where we have narrowed down the suspects, but we don't like to a smaller group of people, but like to 30 people for anyone who's read the book. Um, and it would be really interesting, especially because I'm not going to say any more. I'm not going to spoil anything. It's easy to fly through. Like I started this book today on page one basically page 101. I, did I update you last time? I'm not sure. Um, so I've read basically 100 pages. I am definitely excited to continue reading on. I definitely, like it's currently half eight or just after half eight. I could definitely finish this tonight. I did, on a slightly other note, finish The Simple Wild um, earlier today because I could not sleep last night and so I literally and and I wasn't in the mood for a fantasy, like on my Kindle. Um, and that was the only romance that I had kind of in progress. In terms of my thoughts on that one, because um, that is the first in the series, so you know, technically we can include it. It's my video. I first half kind of felt a little bit like a bully romance. Um, like we obviously knew he was going to be the interest, but he basically bullied her. Like, he bullied Carla, and it's just like, am we supposed to believe that this romance was believable? Um, I'm sorry, no. But yeah, that's like a little side tangent that I'm working through my currently reading. I think it's currently sat at 18, and that is including 
both the Thursday Murder Club and Icebreaker. I haven't yet started A Court of Thorns and Roses. I definitely want to start it before the end of the month. It's currently the 24th, by the way. Um, I know I didn't say that. So it's been definitely, has it been a I feel like I last updated you on like Thursday. Um, but I worked Sunday. So it might have been Saturday I updated you guys. But I worked Sunday, so I didn't, basically I didn't read. This morning I did touch on the odd other book, but nothing was tickling my fancy, mainly because some of them were, like, the main, like, fantasy. Um, I feel like I'm going to say it's so I'm, like, pausing often. So, like, I've still got loads to go on Inca and Crown. Um, well, I say loads. I've got, mm, I want to say it's maybe, like, two and a half hours or something, maybe three, but it might be more like two and a half. I did... I kind of, earlier today, I did read the odd chapter of different books um, to try and get myself into it. But I think, in terms of Kindle reads, I'll probably read Gothicana. I know this isn't like a general reading blog, but I figured I'd mention it. Because um, Gothicana seems like it will hook me in a little bit. It kind of feels right, because it's, I think it's a gothic fantasy. So obviously it's quite nice for like spooky season. And again, if I can work through my currently reading, absolutely perfect. But again, you've got to think two of my currently reading is literally because of this video. Um, so technically, if we minus the two from this video, my currently reading is at 16, um, which is absolutely beautiful. Um, I never said, um, for Simple Wilds, I'm rating it at three and a half because the ending was cuter, so it did bump it up. It could be more like a 3.25, but I've rated it as a three on Goodreads because it's not worth the four star. Like, it's definitely just not yeah like i didn't believe it at all i'm currently watching some youtube because i read the like 100 pages and i was like mm. then it was like oh no i need to eat something and then i started watching youtube if i don't finish this today i'll still get probably a good chunk of the way through um and then obviously if i can't <laughs> sleep then we've got got Connor. neither of the book like icebreaker is a cheap on um kindle I haven't worked on Icebreaker at all since I last updated you guys. Um, I've just not been in the mood. I, I think because I've been ill, I've not been fancying a romance as such. And I know I read Simple Wild, but I think that's because it's a different... It's kind of like a cosy romance, whereas that's, that's different. Like, Icebreaker is different. Um, like, I think we can all agree on that one. And it kind of feels like it needs a little bit more higher up energy so hopefully tomorrow this cold will ease up a little um and i'll feel into romance but if not i can always start a court of thorns and roses so that's absolutely fine um but yeah enough ranting i will update you guys a little bit more okay so this isn't an update to one of the three books but i kind of wanted to keep like a mini haul because i'm not buying enough books to um, properly haul um the first book so I need petrol, hence why I've stopped off at the works, because I thought, well, if I go to the specific petrol station, I can stop off at the works. Um, so I bought two books. First book I bought was Hello Stranger by Catherine Center. I don't own any books by her. I might own like a Kindle version of one of her books. This, I will admit, this wouldn't be like the first book that I'd have bought of hers, like if there was like a range, but... <laughs> Like, if there was multiple of her books, it probably wouldn't have been the first one, because I know that some people don't kind of fully connect with this. But it was £3, as you can see. And I figured it'd be worth a try. And also, it is short. Well, it feels... It's like 320-ish pages. Although the text is on the smaller side and does completely fill the page. And it's quite a weird type of text. Um, But that was the first book. Well, technically, it was the second book I picked up, though. And then the first slash second book was Let's Split Up by Bill Wood. I saw this on Facebook the other day. It's got some nice sprayed edges. I didn't buy it for the sprayed edges. Also on the short side. And actually it's big text so it won't take me long at all. There's like 334 pages but the text is big. So like, there's the text of the prologue. Um, it's big text um and then slightly not book related i did buy puzzles i bought them for my sister i got this disney princess one it's 100 pieces i feel like there needs to be like an in between because 
you go from like 100 to 300 and it's like jesus christ but this one she likes puzzles i might give her that one today and then the other puzzle save for her birthday um but the other puzzle is this animal one it's 300 pieces and yeah i might save this for her birthday because she does like a puzzle um it's kind of something she can easily get stuck into um but that's like my mini haul um i didn't read any more of the thursday murder club i actually listened to the audiobook of harry potter and the um order of the phoenix um and continued that on because it came back i managed to get it on libby i t turns out i put that request back in in like may it was like may and we're currently almost in october although yesterday i did do sign up for book is it book beat or book it might be book beat it's an audio audiobook subscription and there is just it works a similar way to what so the most basic level you get 20 hours of listening which is obviously what spotify allow you but you only pay like six pounds so i've started that because i won't listen to audiobooks loads i kind of use it as like my in between and this book we had loads of options it has icebreaker on there so i might listen to some of icebreaker not maybe like later i won't listen to it on the car drive i don't really like listening to audiobooks on my journeys i could do for harry potter though because i feel like because i know the story i can kind of zone out a little and ignore sentences and i still know what's happening honestly because it's a long audiobook i've still got like 22 hours to go I haven't started anything else although i will say it does have um this book beat does have a court of thorns and roses so i can listen to that via different reading methods okay so it's now the next day i finished icebreaker last night i listened to the audiobook of it so i started from like 55 percent of the way in and obviously like i said finished it i rated this i'm rating this a 4.25 um i did say it was always going to be above a four i really enjoyed it i will say some aspects of the epilogue mm, not the greatest for the character development but hey ho yeah so i really enjoyed this i loved the kind of found family how like all that friendship was i saw somewhere something online saying like how there was too many characters but i think for this book there was a right amount for what the kind of setting was and it made it feel realistic whereas there's another book that i'm reading now where there's just too many characters because there's different points of view like there's multiple points of views like two, more than two points of views multiple characters in each point of view and it's really confusing whereas this made sense i will say when jj got called by his first name it did confuse me for a second and i was like wait who is this but that was towards the start i didn't mind the spice yes there was a little bit more spice than what was needed so that will have affected the rating but i found it really sweet between them i liked the talk like how the author kind of talked about the disordered eating um and all of that and handled that and also how she represented the kind of dynamic between anastasia and her skating partner um and that kind of whole arc because some people were annoyed of her kind of defending some of what like he was doing when actually in reality that's realistic to this kind of situation not necessarily this kind of situation but that kind of dynamic um and i do think it was written well in that kind of aspect yeah so i enjoyed nate i enjoyed kind of the conflict because we kind of knew what the conflict was um but it wasn't like a miscommunication it wasn't a third act breakup and i did enjoy that and it was definitely different um and i do definitely want to read wildfire and definitely daydream as well because i did enjoy the writing style i enjoyed that kind of aspect and although in wildfire russ isn't necessarily going to be in surrounded by the hockey team there is going to be like the setting because it's at a camp i know that there's gonna still be kind of other characters and i think that all helps add up and build to the story and make it more realistic because although don't get me wrong i do enjoy when it's just 
a girl, her best friend, and then it's the guy and like maybe his two friends and whatnot and like parents. It is sometimes nice to have the kind of books where it's a bigger group of people where there's multiple kind of friends and kind of I was gonna say webs that's not the right part but like all different parts and how it all plays in whereas instead of having it so linear and easy to write whereas this in some ways because all those dynamics can get messy the way that it's written works well for that and all like the different aspects and the different dynamics and the different relationships were handled really well and I did enjoy that and it kind of although I've obviously not been in a college like a US college or this kind of environment just because it's not my kind of thing it kind of felt realistic and I'd seen somewhere online say it sounds like a 30 year old woman trying to imagine what they'd talk about and it's kind of like actually sometimes this is what people like my age talk about because they are slightly my age um well a little bit younger but I for some parts was kind of speaking kind of the ways that they were and there was still the kind of jokester misbehaving all that like frat boy kind of energy kind of in here while still mixed with like really serious communication and just well thought out and I think it was well rounded and I would recommend trying obviously it might not be for you and that's completely fine because I will say the spot like the first scene of spice definitely does happen early I won't lie and it was a little bit too early for me and I'm like mm, this could like this is a little bit early but for the most part really nice I again can't wait to pick up wildfire I probably I don't know whether I'll pick it up in October I might just because then it'd be nice and I feel like in some ways daydream because it's got so like a library setting it does kind of feel like it would be a good winter read because like sitting in the library is quite and like it's quite a cozy thing and obviously when it's winter you're inside you're cozy so maybe maybe I should do that that is the first book finished um I haven't read any more of the Thursday Murder Club and I haven't even started A Court of Thorns and Roses part of me is in two minds do i start a court of thorns and roses or do i finish thursday murder club and then go on to a court of thorns and roses but i do sometimes quite like to read two different books but i have got other books in my currently reading that are on the go so i can start like i can read those like i've got a book on my kindle that i've only got like an hour and 40 left um, that is in current crown um that's actually the book with the multiple points of use is like four or five and then there's like multiple characters and some of it just feels slightly unnecessary like one of the points of view i think could be cut out but based off of like what's going on so far it might be more relevant in later bits of story um that's finally the first book of this video done and it's been what like almost two weeks has it been almost two weeks yeah it's been a good week and a half I think at least or has it been two weeks I feel like it could have been two weeks I partly feel like I'll end up starting a Court of Thorns and Roses at least I can listen to the audiobook I did listen to um some of the audiobook for Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix this morning but one of the chapters I've listened to like a 13 minutes and I've still got 40 to go it's just like jesus christ especially when i fully know i could read that in like i could probably read that chapter in like 20 minutes as is obviously the case with basically all audiobooks um i don't think i have it on me though physically so i'm like listening to it to get through it um but that won't be a book that's finished in september probably an october thing and then i'll like put a pause on my harry potter reread because i started my harry potter reread last September like right at the start I did um the philosopher's stone in one day but that's short enough and it's well written and well edited and it's the shortest one and so again it's the easiest to go through get through that's another series that has been started that I can now be that I'm now technically in the middle of so that's beautiful
Okay, so it's now almost half five. I don't know what time I actually spoke to you last. What time would I have spoken to you last? I feel like it was, was it after my lunch? Yeah. I feel like it might have been like two o'clock that I spoke to you. And I was, and then you've seen the clip of me starting A Court of Thorns and Roses. I've only read 20 pages so far. It's all right, obviously I'm only 20 pages in. It, I can tell it's descriptive. Because I'm going to be honest, some of the second chapter could have been a lot shorter. Also, I love how you can tell I've had this book long enough for it to start to yellow. Only at the top though, you can see like the gradient. It must have got bleached by the sun or something. Yeah, so I've read 20 pages. It's alright so far. Descriptive. We've just got to the point of she's killed the wolf and then she's gone back to her family. Basically, in 20 pages. And then, and there's like 400 and something pages. Almost 420 pages. So obviously I won't finish it today. It might be like a tomorrow thing. I have finished The Thursday Murder Club by Richard Osman. I rated this to four stars. I enjoyed it, it was so good. It was so easy to keep me entertained. So quick to read. Text was on the slightly bigger side. And then on some of the pages, you, let me try and find a good example that's early in the book so it doesn't really spoil anything for you. Well, it's not much, but you kind of get a lot of those pages and like it's short chapters. And so you, there's a lot of chapters where literally it ends like there or you'll get one page chapters. Um, so it was easy to always can like read like another chapter. It was literally always like, for example, chapter seven, that's literally it. And like you get in this book, you get a lot from like Joyce um, and kind of a little bit like her diary. So I wonder if I don't. I don't know about the other books, but I wonder if each book is going to technically have like a diary from each one. Having read this, it does make me excited to watch the movie, which I know has just finished being filmed. Um, so that will be really good to see. Um, and I think it will be really popular in cinema. Yeah, especially because my nan is wanting to read it. And I don't, she must have seen the fact that it was finishing filming which is what has piqued her interest. Um, although she's been into Tesco many times, she shops there. So I'm surprised she didn't see these. Um, but I guess from the front, they probably don't look interesting. Um, I don't know, like they probably just look quite basic. And obviously the Thursday might, but to be, I don't know why she didn't look at it. Maybe she looked at it and thought, mm, I don't know, doesn't sound like for me. But this, like she loves, but she loves reading a good, like thriller good crime book obviously this is more cozy um crime rather than anything else but i'm surprised she hasn't picked it up so obviously i've marked with some good reads i've met my goodreads goal again obviously i mentioned maybe only a couple videos back set my goal was 25 obviously hit that in like three months changed it to 50 which obviously i've met and now i've read this was my 75th book which in some ways seems quite fitting for the fact that they're like mid 70s to 80 and this is my 75th book like that kind of feels a little bit fitting obviously with this being my 74th i really enjoyed this i am excited to read book two meg has kind of recommends to read them like not back to back whereas part of me wants to read the next book before like I kind of would want to read the whole series before my nana does but actually I don't think she gets through books as quickly so I could get away with just giving her the first book maybe give it a day though before I start <laughs> the next book and that she finish um A Court of Thorns and Roses because um I feel like I should probably finish this bit well, this video. I was going to say the book, but also this video. But yeah, I highly recommend if you're in two minds, at least give this a try. Like, at least give the first book a try. Like, we're not asking you to buy the whole series and then read the first book, which I will admit is what I did. No one asked me to buy the books, but I bought them. But it was about high time that I kind of got to this book. Highly recommend. Easy to read, easy to understand, short chapters, slightly bigger text. And technic also technically there is multiple points of views and you, although it doesn't tell you whose point of view, it's kind of, you get Joyce's diary, you get Elizabeth's point of view, you get one from one of the, you get the odd detective, but you can tell based of what's going on, who it is. Um, and then you get someone else's point of view, I think. But it's only like 
the odd chapter it's mainly from like elizabeth um and then joyce's diary entries i think i think that's the main thing but if there is more you can kind of tell um and if it is it's kind of from like members of the group rather than anything more than anything so again it's still re really easy to understand really well crafted for a man who i first knew about because of pointless and i'm not saying that in like a bad way of like oh my god i wouldn't expect him to write well like i would expect him to write well he's the one obviously he's got a computer in front of him but he's the one with all the answers so we kind of expect him to know something and this is kind of what you'd expect from him i will read more of a court of thorns and roses tonight i think i might re finish inker and crown tonight just because at least then that'd be another one off of my list i won't yet change my goodreads goal to 100 just yet just because i kind of want to feel like get a couple books ahead before because obviously i've met my goodreads goal i was 20 okay so i was 20 books ahead of schedule you know what let's do it let's change my goal and let's see what it says that's it we've oh we've changed it and i'm only two books ahead of schedule mm -hmm. that's so much pressure now um that is literally so much pressure i guess i better get on reading <laughs> two books ahead of schedule that's a bit of pressure but yeah i will update you guys potentially not tonight tomorrow that kind of feels a little bit more fitting like tomorrow but we will see also i have got the audiobook of a court of thorns and roses that i can listen to so that's definitely something like if i want to do something else and i don't want to necessarily fully read but also i'd feel wary to do it with this because we all know how big this book is and like what a hold it has on people and what it has on people in the book community so it kind of feels like a disservice to do something else um but i do have the option but also i can listen to more of like harry potter i feel like i should get finished in current crown tonight though that kind of feels right obviously still making my way through this book okay so i'm now like halfway through akita um it's all right so far um it's easy it's fairly easy to read my text is small um so it does seem very slightly a drag but it's keeping me captivated i'm unsure as to where the plot goes well i think now we'll get on to like the romance side of things that we kind of started to get glimpses of but yeah so i'm just about to start chapter 22 and um, so page 198 yeah i don't think it, it's definitely obviously not going to be a five star read series the five star read um i don't think this is people's favorite of the series anyway i think books two and three are the ones that are most often the favorite so i wasn't expecting like high things it's probably going to be like a three and a half I might rate it a four on goodreads it all depends on what this next half does i'm finding i kind of have to it's not one of those books where i'm like oh i want to know what happens like obviously i want to know what happens next but it's not one of the ones where i'm like oh well, i want to know what happens next let's pick it up i'm kind of having to force myself to pick it up when i'm reading it i can get through quite a few chapters and i did listen to a good portion of it on well i say a good portion i listened to a good like 40 ish pages or so maybe not that maybe about 40 40 50 ish pages on audiobook just because it was like late tonight and i wanted to do something else at the same time but yeah i know i'm not giving rave kind of reviews so far but it's just feels quite long for what it is like i can tell you now that this story could have been packed into sh a short amount of time and obviously all of the books in this currently incomplete series uh kind of get longer apart, apart from the like fourth book i think it's like 3.5 or something like that um it's good i can see where it's going um and i am like interested to kind of see like what happens um and obviously i know that one of the next books are from her sister's point of view so i'm interested to see kind of how she kind of ends up being played like coming into it and obviously the main one is tamlin in this book is an alright guy. I know that in book two, 
we have a complete 180 but for now he's an all right guy but i can kind of see where he'll start to not be an okay guy like i can see where my mind will read this and not see an issue with him um and then have it all kind of play out in book two um and have it be like it was cocky arrogance that was like it was not nice disguised as cocky arrogance this book is just not it so far but i should definitely get reading this before no before september ends jesus christ okay then don't go wishing away the years it's not end of october it's end of september because currently today is the 29th um so i have got the 30th but i am working for a lot of the 30th or for a big enough portion that it will affect my reading kind of chance and like i can still read and get it done before the end like by the time i get home i could still do like if i had like 30 pages left i could still do it like from the time that i get home because i'll get home at like 11 o'clock at night closer or close enough to it between half 10 and 11 and so by the time i pick up the book on the 30th i'd only have like enough time for like 30 pages so i do need to get this basically read today this will be again obviously another series that i'm starting and in the middle of uh, which is obviously the whole point of this video okay so editing caitlin here like at 4 a.m in the morning of course um pretty much probably on the day you're seeing this or like the day before um i've somehow realized that i never filmed like an outro clip but i swear to god i did i wonder whether i just didn't hit record because there's no evidence of me having filmed an outro um so with akatar i rated it at 3.75 rounded up to a four it was all right i think my opinions are the same as the previous clip just towards the end i think my what raised it to like a 3.75 was the ending um i think like all that like ending scene so what like the last 100 pages that was really good um but yeah I don't know when I'll get to book two because I've got so many other books that are on my TBR that I want to get to. Um, so I don't know when I'll get to it. Potentially might be the new year. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you think of it, what you want to see from me, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.